Hi, this tag along video is for you if you're, you've set yourself a money goal and you're now coming up against a block where you're believing success has to be hard work, you have to make sacrifices, you have to make compromises and you're going to have to give up some things that are really important to you and you know a little bit about tapping. Hi, I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Okay, so two quick things before we get started. Firstly, emotions can increase before the decrease. So it's a little bit like if you've had a crap day, you've been holding it together, and then a friend asks you how you are. You might get a little bit ranty, a little bit sweary, a little bit teary as you talk it through before the feelings subside and you start to feel calmer around it. Secondly, by tapping along with this video, you're agreeing to take full responsibility for your own physical and mental health well-being. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be tapping on a range of different things that might be going on for you. Some will, re will be relevant, others won't. So just keep tapping through, focusing on what resonates for you and um, the rest just tap through anywhere. Okay, so karate chop point and just repeating after me. So even though I've set myself this money goal and I'm starting to block myself by feeling it's going to be hard work. I'm going to have to make sacrifices, compromises, and I'm going to have to give up things that are important to me. And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I've set myself this money goal and I'm coming up against a block where I feel it's going to be hard work, full of sacrifices and compromises, which I really don't have to make, and I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I've set myself this money goal and I com I'm coming up against this block. I love and accept myself anyway. This money goal, this block around my money goal, feeling success is going to be hard work. full of sacrifices, full of compromises, that I'm going to have to give up what's important to me, including family time, including me time. You just breathe in, breathe out, to see how you're feeling, see what emotions come up and then we just start tapping again to even them. Have all these emotions around this block. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all of these emotions around this block because I don't want to have to sacrifice. I don't want to have to work hard with compromises. I don't want to sacrifice my family time. And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all of these emotions around this belief that success has to be hard work and full of sacrifice and giving up things that are important to me. I love and accept myself anyway. These feelings, this fear, this upset, this frustration, this guilt, 
all of these feelings, all of this conflict, wanting success, wanting to hit my money goals, not wanting to give up um, on the things that are important to me, not wanting to work really hard and miss out on the things that are important. This conflict, this belief of what success means to me, these beliefs of what you have to do to be successful. These beliefs around what you have to sacrifice to be successful. So breathing in, breathing out, just noticing how you're feeling. Let's see if I can drop my, uh, my chair a little bit so you can see the top of my head for you. <clears throat> okay, so just tapping again and repeating after me. So even though I have these beliefs around what you have to do to succeed and I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have these beliefs around having to work hard for success, what if it could be different? And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have these beliefs around how you succeed, what if it can be different? What if it is different? What if I just need to look at this in a different way? And I love and accept myself anyway. These old beliefs, these beliefs around success, what if it can be different? What if it isn't about working harder, but working smarter? What if it's about learning to use our time more effectively? What if it's about putting new structures in place? What if it's about learning to get, let go of what is no longer working for us? Including inefficient work practices, doing the things that don't make very much difference, Letting go of our blocks around how it has to be. What if I could work smarter? What if I could work more effectively? What if I could let go of my blocks that are taking up a lot of energy? Because it does take a lot of energy to hold on to these blocks. What if it is about working hard, but within good boundaries? Leveraging our time by using it in the most effective way. What if it's about having new working systems? What if it's about learning to ask for the support that we need? What if it can feel easier? By really working out how to use our time most effectively. What if it can be easier? by learning to delegate, 
by learning to ask for support. By learning how to receive and accept that support. What if it's about learning to prioritise? and focus on why we're doing this in the first place. I choose for this to be easy now. I choose for success to come easily to me now. I choose to know that I can prioritise and choose what I keep that's important and let go of what no, is no longer working for me, including this belief. What if success is about making sure that we prioritise and we don't compromise what's important? What if success is about not making those big sacrifices or compromise. Because what's really successful about that? I choose to recognise that I can define success on my own terms. I choose to recognise that I can that I am defining success on my own terms. Just breathe in, breathe out. You might need to take a few moments to allow things to settle. You can either place your hand over your heart chakra or mid upper chest, or you can just gently tap your collarbone points as things subside, as things settle. So happy tapping. I'm Sarah from Tapping Into Money Girl. Thank you.